Mercy. Folk tales is the folk tale, of course, which is made famous in the legend of Dr. Faustus. Faust legend that where the man sells his soul to the devil. It's known all over the world. In America, it's called... Uh, I collected a version called Wicked John and the Devil down the southern Appalachian Mountains. Over here in Ireland, of course, uh, most of it had, us, had uh, another version of the story beaten into us by the Christian brothers with the knuckle uh, called Shana. Do you remember that? Fi far on fado agus as they anam a vier na Shana. Fi tig biog das la horagar bon knik er heven a fauna. This concerns a man, well, it's a slightly different variant on the story. It was written by a, a woman over in Massachusetts who heard us do a similar story on the stage and she thought she would write something for us. And she wrote this one called The Children of Micah about a man, he doesn't sell his soul, but he sells something very, very precious to him. Not to the devil, but to what could be described as time or fate. She in her story simply calls it the year. The children of Michael. the wide fields above the edge of the land. His name was Michael. And he was wise in the ways of the water, wise in the ways of the wind. He witched water with a fork of a hazel twig. And he read the lay of the coming seasons from the fur on the underbelly of an alder leaf. Now the land was rich where the salt marshes met the sea. And above him, the white gulls Grey gulls flew circling and crying. The land bore for him, and the sea bore for him, and he farmed them both. Then came a day in his years when Michael grew lonely in the land. And he got himself a wife then from a town on the far side of the hills. And the crying of the birds was not so lonely then. Michael loved her for the whiteness of her hand and for the wind in her hair. He loved her for the softness of her ways. And they were easy with each other. And the years passed easy for a time. But when Michael knew that no children would come to them, he grew sad. She was sad then too. And he heard her sometimes singing when she did not know that he was near. Cast a boat upon the sea, a silver boat upon the sea. A child will sail back home to me. Michael walked alone then by the edge of the salt marshes, listening to the gulls high in the air. And after a time, he knew what he would do. And the year bent above him and listened and agreed. Now in the far town they did not know him for a hard man, but the bargain he drove on that day was a hard one. Sons said Michael. I would have sons for my youth. The year above him smiled. And daughters. Daughters for my age. The year smiled. And what would you give to the year? What would you want then? The year said, I will choose one for myself from among them, from among you. The year was still smiling, knowing which one he would take. 
Michael went home then and he kept his silence. And he heard her again, her voice singing sadly and far away. Set a wing upon the sky, a silver wing upon the sky. A child will fly home by and by. spring of that year she bore a son and she called him for his father out of love for him. She did not know that above her in childbed the year looked over her and waited. The child grew and soon enough ran behind her along the sand gathering winkles on the little stones of the sea and Michael watched after them both and was glad and in the summer of the next year she bore a daughter as lovely as herself, who in time danced before her through the fields, gathering with her the flowers that grew there. Oh, I hope you may not be coming yet, said Michael, when he was alone. And he felt the year moving in the still grasses of his fields, like wind that wasn't there. Not yet, said the year. I will come in my time. And you will not know that I come. Michael's wife was happy then. And the seasons turned after themselves in their prime. She bore a second son and then a second daughter. And now her singing came to him from orchard and meadow. And her singing had no sadness to it. Oh, to safe upon the sand Little bird is safe on land Babe in cradle ring on hand Ring on hand Oh, I hope you may not be coming yet, said Michael, when he was alone And he heard the year moving in the still branches of his orchard trees like rain that wasn't there. Not yet, said the year. I will come in my time, and you will not know that I come. And in another spring, and in another summer, Michael's wife bore her last children. And these also she loved, these youngest of her sons and youngest of her daughters. But Michael grew afraid what do you fear, said the year? You are rich in your children. Are you coming? asked Michael. You have sons for these seasons, and you have daughters to comfort you in seasons yet to come. Which will you take? asked Michael. Which will I take, said the year? And Michael saw the year moving in the little waves at his feet at the edge of the sea, like a tide that wasn't there. Are you coming now? asked Michael. I will come in my time, and you will not know that I come. Michael lingered long by the fire with her that night with his wife. For there was a storm coming down on them from the north, and the fish ran before the water, and the water ran before the wind. And the storm came with its fingers at the windows, and its hands against the door. And oh, Michael feared for his children then, but his wife... She was singing to them. Boat right at the harbor light Every bird is done with flight Sleep ye safe with me tonight 